Hey guys, how to here today? I'm gonna to be showing you guys what's on my Android device. So let's begin the video. So let's start it off. I am Kuno's Meister. The other how to men is uh, Daniel Ariza, and uh, he has a Galaxy S3. I have an HTC Amaze 4G by T-Mobile. It's a 1.5 dual core processor. It's by HTC Sense. Except I do not have HTC on my phone. I have stock ICS. The software wise, I am rooted. I do have S-Off and uh, my ROM that I'm using right now, it's called Speed ROM 7.7 .7 ICS Project Butter Jelly Bean Fusion. If you want to get that ROM, link down in the description download and uh, it's a pretty decent ROM. It's just stock ICS. It's supposed to be just like Project Butter. And I have no kernel at all, so no overclocking for my phone. And uh, I have ICS 4.0.4. So, let's start off with what home screen I have. On my home screen, let's start off with the wallpaper. It's called Droid Eats Apple. Now I, I'm gonna have that link down in the description to a uh, picture to that picture so you can download it on your Android device and have that as a wallpaper. The widgets that I have on my home screen. So the first one you see is the clock widget. It's 707. That means it's 707. And you can see here it actually displays the time as a text clock widget. Now I use that mainly because it's elegant. It's a big battery saver, very simple. I like my device to be very simple. And uh, that widget that I have, it's called Clock R. If you wanna get it, link down in the description to download in the Play Store, it's free. On the left, we have our basic power control, nothing else more there. Here we have, on my right side, I use this screen for my How To Man videos or for my Andrew Tech Man videos. You may be wondering, how did I get my name? On my home screen, well, if I tap on it, it's an app called Amazing Text Plus. Here you can have, uh, you can edit text and enter your text into this app. And once you save the text, you can have it on your home screen, just like a widget. And then I have apps swipe right down here. And uh, I mainly use this to display my top apps of the week for Andrew Techman, which I will be coming out soon. My icons are different from yours. That's because I don't use the regular old icon uh, styles on my home screen. I like to use a little app that's called the Icon Ultimate. Here you go, the app. Now it's pretty cool. It's by The Flash if you're familiar with it. I did review it once. It lets you download styles from different icons and it has well over 500,000 icons on this well alone. It's going to cost you a dollar for each, each style that you want to buy, but each style looks pretty nice. And uh, there are free ones, but they're pretty lame, so once you unlock them, it's gonna appear right here. I bought one, it's called the Bellow Copper, and uh, these are the icons I'm using for my home screen. These are what the icons that look like on my home screen. So that's basically what's on my home screen. Next, let's go into the launcher. Uh, what I'm using is Apex Launcher, and uh, it's very decent. Apex Launcher is free in the Play Store if you wanna go get it, get it now. It's very, very easy to use. The transition effects look very nice. Like this one, I'm using a tablet effect, and it looks like the tablet transition that you have on your tablet. Here, if I go into my app drawer, let's check out what apps I have. I'm not gonna go too much into every single one, just a couple of apps that I use here and there. Let's start off with Root App Delete. Very basic app, I don't even wanna open it, mainly because it just lets you remove system blowware apps. That's basically it. You can uninstall apps, you can look up the info, you can delete data, you can delete cache. Uh, if you read the title, it does say Root App Delete, so make sure you have Root Access. Next, One Mobile Market. It's a new black market that came out. I will be reviewing it on Android Tech Man. You can download paid apps for free. Next, I have AdSense Dashboard. I use that to look at my AdSense, my revenue for YouTube and all that. Amazon, I like to download Amazon apps. Very decent. App to SD. Let's say you have a lot of apps on your uh, phone and you want to move it to your SD card, mainly because you probably have an SD card that's 32 gigabytes, but on your phone you only have eight gigabytes of memory. Then you could switch all the apps over to your SD card just by opening it up, it, go, it takes you to the app info and you can move it to your SD card by tapping on that option right there. That's apps to SD. App cache cleaner, you can clean all your apps, cache. I'm trying to make this really fast so you just clear all the cache files and there it goes. Appoid, a new black market, I reviewed it. If you want to go check out a whole review on it, Here's the video, click on the link and it'll take you to that video. Astro File Manager, I use this to uh, edit my files on my SD card. Many of you guys already downloaded it because it's one of the most popular apps on Android. Here you can see your SD card usage, your task killer, all your 
all the space that's taking up your SD card. I use this mainly to like delete files on my phone and uh, yet again it is free so why not go check out Astro File Manager. That's the file manager I use the most. Why do I have an audio manager? Is that is that supposed to be cool or something? Well, let me show you a, a cool little trick. You can see here it's very nice. It does work, the power controls and everything. But if you hold on the title, you can see there that I can open up a little secret passageway and it's basically like a vault so you can store all your pictures, videos, audios, hide apps, lock apps, file managers, browser, messaging apps, and much more. If I want, I can hide all my videos here so I can just click the plus sign and I can hide all my videos there. Hide this one by Little Wayne and uh, you can hide it and uh, it hides automatically there. You're not going to be seeing that in your gallery ever again. And so let's try to see if I can lock apps. So load up all your apps and let's say you want to get into one. So let's do currents. You want to block it or lock it? Then yes I do. So currents is still on my home screen. If I can find currents on my phone, I open it up. Now it's going to pop up just like Amazon did. All you do is click report. You type in your password that you have for your audio manager, you click send and you automatically have it open up and if you go back into the app, you can open it up just like before and nothing has ever happened. Barcode scanner, use that for QR codes, scan codes, everyone knows what that is. Catch notes, use this to do all my ideas for how to men, very very nice uh, note taker and you can write notes and you can do all of these note taking guides and uh, you can do tasks as well so here are all my videos that are going to be coming up if you want you can just cross off the list one by one next I have chest burster what's chest burster oh my god have you not been seeing how cool this thing is here's a picture right let's zoom out a little bit chest burster open it up it's going to stimulate a little it's going to have like a little pop up right here so I'll just, I'll just show you what it is I can't explain it it's really hard to explain Start simulation. There it is, right? You must be wondering, what is that? It's like a little alien, and you can go all the way in and check out its mouth and everything. Isn't that crazy? You can move around, and uh, it's very, very interactive. You can't tap on it or do anything with it, and if you move your hand over it, it's going to go away. Chest burster, check it out free in the Play Store. I have Dropbox, everyone knows what Dropbox is. Facebook, I know what Facebook is, everyone knows what Facebook is. Game CIH, oh my god, Game CIH is one of the best games ever. It lets you hack into games. I'm not gonna go too much into it, I'll do a video on that soon, but mainly it just lets you hack into games and uh, edit the scores and edit everything if you know how to use it. Link down in the description to download, not gonna go too much into that. Next up I have, Go SMS Pro, use that to send messages, uh, so ignore that, it's just a messaging app, you don't really care about that. What you do care about is Handsent AR. Why not get Handsent AR? Here is a picture, let's pop it up. Boom, right there, I have the Nexus 7 at my fingertips, and if I want, I can tap on it and it just moves it around. Maybe it's too big, right? Let's say you want the Samsung Galaxy S3, here it is. You have to download this, so basically you print this out, cut it out, and then all you automatically you do is take it out and the app automatically turns it into like a phone and uh, it does work. It's like a little piece of paper. So there you go, I flipped it over and it still works just fine. If I move it around and then I can change the color of it, Hanson AR. Next up I have the HowToMan app. Oh my god, I have never reviewed this, I don't know why. But if you download it, link down in the description to download. It's the How To Man app. Um, came out in the Play Store. Uh, we made it. You can check out our website here. It pops up with our website. Our website's mobile now. If you haven't noticed, and uh, you can check out all our posts there. If you go back, you can check out our Android tutorials, all our videos on How To Man there. Our top apps of the week, all included right here. If you tap on one, it's going to open it up in the YouTube app, and then you can watch the YouTube video from there. Facebook page, it has our Facebook page as well. All you have to do is sign in and you can automatically see all our Facebook feeds and all our Facebook updates and you have all our tweets on Twitter. Check it out, the app is free, so check it out. That's How To Man app. Jetpack Joyride in the Play Store. Here's a quick little play that I'm gonna do right now. There you go. And uh, what you're trying to do is try not to get killed by the scientists. And you do have a 
you do have a couple of records to do, you have to try to see if you can uh, try to get more upgrades. You can get upgrades, you try to collect coins and all that, and it's a really great app. You just try to go as far as you can until you die. For example, here I'm going to die right now, on purpose. Once you do die, you have a chance to get a final spin. And, one, and if you get a final spin, for example there, they give you a bonus and you actually win. So KIK Messenger, one of the fastest KIK Messengers I use. Uh, I basically use it to text uh, my girlfriend uh, because it's really fast. So next you can see I have Linda Manager. I use that to stay up to date on uh, how many space I have left from my phone. I only use 14% of my SD card and 22% of my applications on my phone. Lucky Patcher, gonna be reviewing that soon. Uh, reviewing that on Andrew Techman. Uh, maybe next week. Mathway. Any of you guys in school? Well, guess what? This is the best app to help you out in school. Let's say you're taking algebra, for example. Gives you a giant keyboard with all the symbols in it. I don't know. And then you click on the answer, and it pops up with the answer right there for you to see. The answer is one plus the radical of three, and then you can view the steps. But you have to get the full version. Really good for you guys who are in school. It does have the basics, basic math, pre-algebra, trigonometry, algebra, pre-calculus, calculus, and statistics. And secure, it secures all your passwords and coding and all that, so I'm not going to go into it because if I type in my password and log in, you guys will see all my passwords and all my credit cards and all my stuff. It just stores all your passwords and your credit cards and all important information on here so you don't forget it. One more slide. One single life. Freaking retarded game. I don't know why I have it. You have one life throughout the whole entire game. If you die, then you have to reinstall the whole game all over again. So there you go. I reinstalled the whole app all over again. So let's do this, and now I'm going to be showing you guys how it basically works. You just tap on it. He runs and jumps over the building once you tap on the specific timing. Here I go. You'll see how I do it. Ah! Wow, I died! Let me just try again. So I'm just going to press continue, and uh, it's going to go to the clouds this time. It's going to be like credits. But this is what you basically had to do. You just tap on the screen, it runs and you hold it, and that's what you basically do. And every single time, it gets harder and harder, and uh, that's what you do every single time. But on buildings, this one's on clouds, this is the credits, this doesn't even count. Pandora, everyone knows what Pandora is, you listen to music and stuff like that. PayPal, everyone knows what PayPal is. Next I have ROM Manager, I can edit my ROM there, I can reinstall ROMs. Screencast, I can record my screen. All you have to do is tap on it, open it up, and start recording your screen automatically. You need a root for that. Super backup, super backup, you can back up all your apps, SMS, contacts, SMS if you want to back it up, just press back up and it automatically backs up. Titanium backup, I think everyone knows what that is. Two mate, you can download uh, uh, YouTube videos. So uh, for example, I have Daft Punk right there one more time. You click on that green one, you can press download and it's gonna fetch all the information. You can download from all the way to HD, all the way down to MP3 to the lowest resolution. And if you press download, you can download it and it's in your Play Store or your gallery. On delete, if you have any single phone that you have and uh, you deleted a file that you really regret, here you go, you can select what storage it was in. So if it was in the SD card, you just scan it and it brings up all the files that you deleted on your Android device. Please note that most of the files that you tried to recover Mm, sometimes they don't pop up. On RAR Pro, if I have a RAR file, I can just look it up here and find the RAR file and unrar it. Next on my phone, I have Wi-Fi Kill. You can delete or you can uh, block everyone's Wi-Fi through here. You basically just press on. And you can turn them off. So once it finds all the devices and all the AP IP addresses, it, let, it basically just blocks all the connections so you can't connect to the browser anymore and write automatically there. It turns off all of those devices on that specific Wi-Fi that you were on. The last two apps I have is XDA Premium. XDA, you can uh, load up all of those uh, ROMs and you can find ROMs for your phone and uh, specific updates for your device on how to root your device. And Zedge. Everyone knows what that is. If you don't, well, it's like, uh, it keeps a bunch of wallpapers, live wallpapers, ringtones, notifications, and games. You can download all of those right on your device. Yeah, okay, so that's what I have on my uh, Android HTC Amaze device. So yeah, hope you guys like this video. Make sure to check out uh, Phone Buffs video. Uh, I have a link down in the description right there. And uh, go check out his video. He did uh, what's on my phone as well. Go check out his channel. He does great Android reviews. He does review uh, phones, apps. He actually did do, recently he broke the iPhone 5. So uh, congrats to him. Let's all applaud him. 
Anyway, uh, go check out Phone Buff. Link down in the description. Pretty cool guy. And uh, make sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. All linked down in the description. Also, you can rate, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. We'll be coming out with more videos just like this. This Sunday is going to be a new one. It's going to be great. And that's what I use on my everyday device. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Kapow!